Well, hello and welcome back to American Truck Simulator, where we are in the middle of fucking nowhere and very tired. Such is life. Anyway, we drove back to Tonopah, I remember that part, but where do we want to go from here? Not a lot of options. In fact, almost no options. And all these options do not pay for shit. Uh, can I, can I quickly talk to you about the difference between Fresno and Bakersfield here? Bakersfield is, is down here, Fresno is up here. I, I'm not quite seeing it. I'm, I might, in fact, call this one Fresno still. But anyway, that's, that's not exactly important. I guess we just take a short one and then go take another short one. I really don't know. We could go all the way up to Sacramento, but it's just exactly longer than this one. And I'd love to get out of the fuck zone that we are, we're kindly, kind of currently stuck in, which is that... We're, we're, uh, we're getting away from the local major cities, and that is leading us to the fact that we're out in the middle of nowhere, where all the missions are less profitable, less distance, and we're just stuck doing these... Whoop, go back, go back for the cargo. Can't, can't forget that, you can't just start driving without the cargo. I mean, you theoretically can, but there's, there's just no point. Other than the, to go places, usually that's how that works, but it doesn't matter, I just turned off my engine for no reason, whoops. Turn that back on. Alright, let's get our cargo. And let's go back through the desert, as we have done many times now in the last few episodes. I would really like to go north, south, east, west, anywhere but here. <laughs> anywhere but Fresno, again. It is surprisingly 250 miles, which is a uh, fair bit considering just how short on the map it looks. And I just don't quite get how the map and time works in this goddamn Forsaken Twilight Zone episode. But uh, either way, uh, while we're doing this, we do need to get some sleep. So let's go get some sleep. Sleep is good, sleep is great, sleep is love, sleep is life. Uh, we do need to get back onto the highway here, as as life is in Tonopah, where every turn takes you across the fucking median of the highway. We're just going for it, we're balling. Out of control, right here, right now. <laughs> Did he clip us? I just couldn't tell. What the fuck? He barely tickled our anus. God, that's some horseshit. What the fuck, game? Now you're telling me to visit service? He didn't touch me. Sometimes I just do not get the damage modifications. He he tickled me. He didn't even do anything. You so silly. You so silly, game. Well, I guess we need service along with our sleep. And there should be a place to do so in Tonopah, if I remember correctly. So we might as well stop there. We won't be able to repair the damage on our trailer, so pretty much that's going to leave us with uh, very little money to profit from this this drive. But, you know, in the end, that's what happens. In At the very least, we'll make zero dollars. And whatever we, we pay for costs here in the service, but that's, that's okay. I don't mind paying that fee. Oh, goodness, this is going to suck. Another goddamn turn through the hellhole of a highway. All right, this is our gap. This is our dream right here. Oh, you, thank you. <laughs> I was expecting him to go straight. He turned right and he just stopped for me. That was awfully nice of him. I, I appreciate anybody who can who can do me a favor on the road. I'll do them a favor back. We can all be happy. the The road shouldn't be a competition. It should be a place of uh, mutual respect and agreement. Cause we're all just trying to get to where we want to go safely. We aren't, we aren't trying to screw each other over. It's not about who makes it somewhere first. It's about the fact that we can all make it there happy and okay in the end. And like every fucking service station in this fucking game, the goddamn railings are too close together and it makes life a pain in the ass. I hate this shit. Just let me around. I'm not even touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching Why? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? But I'm not. He's not. Nobody's hitting me. Who? There's, there's no physical touching. Let me forward. Go forward. Alright, now loop around. Fuck off. Fuck off with this fucking horse shit right here. This is, in fact, not some good shit. Let me, let me through. Okay, are we good now? Are we good? Are we allowed to turn right? Thank you, Mr. Fans. I'm glad we could all come to an agreement. Alright, let's get our first service since buying the new truck here. That's, that's a, uh, a way to, a milestone, really, when we're breaking it in. Seven grand, okay, okay. Sure, that's that's a bit pricey, but you know, all for the job and whatnot. Now let's sleep. See you in the morning, fuck boys. 
Oh, never mind. We'd have to actually find a place to sleep. And apparently it is right there on the median. Okay. I love it. I love, I love how these zones work. Just shove them in random places. Why not? Holy shit, we paid loans of five grand. That or we just we just dumped like thirteen grand plus whatever we're we're dumping from the damage we took. So you know, oh when did we take that damage, I don't remember that part. Anyway, really just just great job overall at this point. How much time do we have? Eight hours. We should be able to make it there on time still, but goddamn, it is not going to be worth it. Huh. <sighs> Every now and then, this is just sort of what put me, puts me back in my place, you know, I get too cocky, I fly too close to the sun, I, I start thinking that I'm invincible, that I can do no job wrong, and then and then suddenly you gotta, you gotta sort of, you know, burn to a crisp, lose your wings, and fall into a pit of spikes to learn that you aren't invincible. I'm just, gotta stop, stop the car, alright. And, you know, it's happened multiple times. Uh, you know, the one where we accidentally hit load instead of save. The one where I made actually zero dollars. And a whole a whole host of other opportunities for us to fail. They just gotta, you know, they gotta remind you that you're human. And we're just all here to drive trucks. Weird, right? So deep. I'm 14 and this is deep. No. Fuck that shit. <laughs> all right. How exciting this will be. Back through the desert again. Absolutely love the desert. Who couldn't love the desert? You know, it's full of cacti and scorpions and tarantulas and evil snakes. Whew. You know, it's uh, it's just one of the reasons I love Minnesota so much is that I'm just so, so far away from natural shit that's going to murder me in my fucking sleep. There's no poisonous spiders. There's only a few poisonous snakes in the very southeast corner of the state. Like, like the very, very southeast. It's like the only hilly part and on the mini... Uh, mini uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Mississippi River, there we go. You know, it's just, just there's a little area with some poisonous snakes. So I don't have to worry about those. There's no natural disasters besides the occasional tornado in summer. And, I guess, Flash Flood, if you want to count those as natural disasters, they sort of happen everywhere, though, but... You know, I don't have to deal with much shit like that. I don't... I'm, I'm happy to not have to deal with fucking poisonous spiders creeping in my fucking bathroom and shit. That seems like a pain in the ass that I don't want to have to deal with. You know, there's no snakes that are gonna accidentally bite me and kill me. I'm not gonna have to go swimming and get stung by a fucking box jellyfish. You just, just being without those, you know, I don't know, I... I it's just a nice way to live, in my opinion. Who knows? I it's it's I am missing out on the ocean and some nice landscapes, but you know what? I'm I'm happy, and that's not what life is about for me. I am getting fucking fucking like ridden by this truck behind me. Back the fuck off, right? Jeez, what if I hit the brakes? Then what, motherfucker? Then I'm gonna have to pay the ticket for you rear-ending me. That's just how the game works. God, fucking. Show in his pig game, jeez. No, uh, whoa, double standards. Uh, we may have just run straight into that truck. Whoops. That one was, in fact, my fault. I sort of slid off, uh, our, our beaten path there. Should have tried to stay in the yellow line, but I, I sort of lost control. What, what is that song? Like, y'all make me lose control. Y'all gonna make me lose control, let's go. I don't remember. Is that is a, a Fergalicious and the Black Eyed Peas song? Look, I don't remember my mid-2000s pop culture references all the time. Although, that being, like, the one period that I pay attention to pop culture references, it's it's been a little while. You know, thinking that, you know, it's it's 2016. It's been a decade since 2006. It's, you know, things, things change. It's crazy that it's been that long. Feels like just yesterday. <laughs> crazy. Whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. Ooh, that was spooky. Alright. Let's hang out with the family. Having ourselves a party out in the desert. Excuse me, truck, I'm gonna pass you illegally because this is a yellow, yellow line. Do not want to do that, especially with incoming traffic here. Hey, jeez. This is spooky. <coughs> oh, thanks, thanks for uh, somehow hitting the fucking brakes there, truck behind us. I don't know how we managed to dodge that. I was sneezing. That was a disaster. I am. I don't know why my allergies have all of a sudden started to decide to act up. 
Acting all a fool right now. Oh god, stay in our lane. <laughs> As spring continues here, all the shit's still blooming, man. I can't handle it. I'm losing my mind. Makes me crazy. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me go all up, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. Don't make me act a fool, game. I'm not here to act a fool. I'm here to drive a truck. That is the least foolish thing to do. That is a very sensible and logical thing to do. And you know what? I'm proud of proud of all those truck drivers out there. Beautiful work. Uh, there we go. I just, just wanted to make sure the song was going to play. I hate songs with loud, long fucking outros, okay? Like, there's no point in this day and age. They're just there to be somewhat annoying. Especially when the music is faded out by that point and there's just like 10 seconds of dead silence and it's like, what's the point? It's just sort of annoying and you're like, what, what's going on? You're, you're ruining my jam, my flow. Okay? Especially in the one song I specifically noticed to be the worst about this is, uh, uh, there's, uh Tom Petty's Running Down a Dream. For some reason, its Spotify song ends with its actual, like, CD ending, which has about him for like 30 seconds telling us that for all the people people listening to this on a record, we should give them enough time to flip it over. And I'm like, what are you even talking about, Tom Petty, man? It's like you weren't planning for everything to go digital in like 1980-something. God. Why aren't you some sort of fucking genius who saw this coming? You should have known. And now it's now I just have to listen to that song every now and then, and you have to have a 30 second wait time in between unless I notice it. I'm like, well, this is weird. And it's still going on. I can't believe it. Oh, make this turn. That was a close one. Yeah, it's just, just a weird thing. Just really annoying. It, it is better than a fucking you know, radio DJs, you know, it's just sort of like part of their training at this point, I believe. To, uh, you know, they, they talk, give you the update, give you the weather as the, uh, during the intro of the song, and they have, like, a, a timing or something that tells them how long until the first lyrics of the song, and, you know, they just, it's just their job to cover it up. It's like, this is sort of weird to have. It, it certainly takes away from the music The you know, you, you sometimes you gotta get into the song before the lyrics start. Get thrown in there, you're like, what's going on? Why are they talking about raping people? Um, shit like that. that. That does not happen often. Gotta say. Oh, man. Only 26 miles to go. And then we get to pick up another one. Woo! Looking forward to it. Especially in my very sneezy state for some reason. Oh, that one got me. I'm, I'm debilitated. I'm going to be uh, bedridden for about a week now after that sneeze. Uh, it's, it wasn't. I'm, I'm exaggerating for comedic uh, effect, if you did not notice. I'm, I'm not doubled over in fucking pain. I don't have Crohn's disease or some shit, man. I don't know. I'm not passing a kidney stone. It's all good. We're just here to drive. What what did that say? We have maintenance costs for 800 bucks? When the hell did that happen? Who are we fucking maintaining? A truck? A person? A robot? Our garage, we're gonna run this red light because I don't have a choice at this point. <laughs> at least it's only a hundred bucks. But I, I actually could not stop. I was I was gonna fucking plow through that thing no matter what. I, I, I just, it was not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, let's... I do enjoy this city right here. Nice streets, lovely buildings, scenery. Beautiful just city aesthetic. Near the highway, but not on the highway. Oh, it's just a lovely place in this game. I enjoy cities that look like this. Especially uh, ones that have drivers that act a fool and uh, start running into me and shit. You know, those those are always preferred. Alright, see you later, fuckboy. Um, we're gonna get to our, our zone eventually. Eventually. Uh, da, 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 da. I wish they would go above the speed limit. But they refuse to because they're artificially intelligence driven. Um, something did I get that right? Is that how that the that tune goes? That little jiggy that that you've been hearing for years, really. The thing does not go away. Neither do a lot of songs, and that's why I hate them.
Uh, okay, let's let's get there. Let's finish this one off and hopefully get to go somewhere cooler. I don't know, north, south, east, west. Maybe maybe north northwest, north south, north north northwest, north by southeast. I don't know, man. I don't think you can say north by southeast. That's that's sort of contradictory. I don't know why I did that. I just had the sudden urge to run straight into the back of this fucking dude, I guess. I'm gonna push him out of the intersection because I don't give a shit at this point. I just want to get to this fucking end zone here. Get this one turned in and move on because we did not gonna make that much money off of it just because the amount of damage we've taken. All in that one little span of time which was total bullshit. But here we go. I'm in a hurry. Damaged is better than reckless. <laughs> Good work. Oh no, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Gotta make that zero dollar zero XP. Really good work there. All right, job market me freight market for Fresno. Well, that's a lot of money for a short distance. Oh, we could go to Hornbrook. We have not been up there in a while. Certainly, we could do that. That, that seems like a good drive. Fair bit of distance. Get to somewhere we haven't been in a, in a little while. I think we've only been up there like once before. Because the only building up there is a fucking gas station. So, could always go up there, you know. We aren't going to really get a fucking available mission to drive back down, but we could probably teleport and still be okay. I wish I could get out of this fucking parking lot, though. That's all I'm asking. I really do not want to run into this car, but it looks like... Yeah, all right, fuck it. I, we didn't get a penalty, I don't think. Unless we suddenly took, like, 30% damage on our haul, which we didn't. Because I don't understand how damage works still. Oh, I don't care anymore. I'm going full reckless mode. Are you ready for this? You ready? Here it comes. Da, 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 da. I'm a maniac. Oh, God. Oh, here it comes. All right, this is how we do it. Who's ready for fucking stupid shit? Reckless, reckless abandonment of, of all caring in the world. I just want to get there. Nobody saw it coming. <laughs> All right, we've run out of the side area. Oh, oh, cut back, cut back. There we go. Good work. I don't know how we're going to manage to turn right when we come up here. Oh, the barrier comes back together. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, look at that. Good work. We avoided a red light. <laughs> look at that time makeup. Nobody expected the shortcut of a lifetime. I didn't even get a wrong way offense. That was nifty. Nifty tricks there for you. Sometimes you don't have to drive with any sort of legal requirements. Those those pesky laws that just get in the way. Um, yeah. Because cause we're a heartbreaker, lawbreaker, potbreaker, um, scar maker, <sighs> penalty breaker. Uh, just just all around disappointment there. Oh man, I bet that brings me back. Oh, I I still feel just totally used there. You know. You know, despite being a, uh, not a good sport player, I believe the last sport I played in a in a league of some sort was hockey, which I played around the time of middle school up until like maybe sixth, seventh grade. I played for a few years there, but I sucked a lot of penises anyway. But you know, I I was that was probably the sport I was best at. I could skate fairly effectively. And I could play defense pretty well, you know. I could I could back up, skate in reverse, you know, get the get the puck away. I just wasn't very good on offense. So unfortunately, um, while I, I wasn't you know all that utilized as a as a hockey player because I sucked and was tiny, but um, the one time I was utilized, I felt I felt so used. Someone got a penalty somehow, and I I, I I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention to what the fuck happened. I don't really care. I'm just like, oh god, just get me out of here so I can go home. Something like that. Anyway, I ended up just being thrown into the fucking penalty box as like some sort of substitute. And I'm like, I feel I feel a little used right now. That's that's kind of rude. Why not get the the player who actually committed the offense to to go serve his time? You know, it's not like we're gonna care if we fucking win or lose, man. We're just here to have a good time. And if they're not gonna learn from their mistake, why throw me into the fucking box? I didn't do shit. Now I'm looking like the fucking uh, goddamn like a fucking criminal here and it's like I'm, I'm I don't like this I, I that was silly thankfully did not did not play much hockey after that but still that felt bad it felt bad 
It was unfortunately this, the same coach for my hockey team as it was my baseball team a few years before, so it's not like I was on great standing there because I'm a shit player at everything, but at least I, I follow instructions, you know? I've at least got something for me. And yeah, that's that's how that's how my hockey career went. Just used and abused. <laughs> that's not true. I had an okay time. I'd like to think I had some fun. I learned some stuff. It improved my skating for sure. You know, skating's a uh, uh, a nice thing to be able to know how. It can it can offer some fun, exciting times, especially in Minnesota. Ice on all the fucking lakes up here. <laughs> can go skating. Not a lot of them. Have a good time. Oh, bye call box. Sorry. <laughs> My trailer is quite long for this one. So this could get a little bit sticky icky. Uh, but we are going to be spending most of our time on the highway, thankfully. So we shouldn't have to worry an incredible much about that. Especially if we're just going to roll all the way up. We shouldn't need a map. We shouldn't need gas. We're just going to go. We're just going to go. We're going to get up to Hornbrook. We're going to get to max speed and we're just going to cry. I, I, uh... That's, that's just how it goes. I'm gonna shed all the tears. This is, uh... <laughs> who would have known that without a webcam, all Gecker did during his American Truck Simulator playthrough is cry. That's not true. But, wouldn't it be weird if I just started having a breakdown like I'm some sort of fucking streamer? Trying to whore out myself out for money. Ah, uh, anyway. Shots fired. 385 miles to go. Woo! You know, I wish I would kind of wish we would get, could get a long one again. Whoops, hit spacebar again. Whoops, uh, but yeah, I kind of miss the the thrill and excitement of a long mission. The uh, the I'm um, just like the sheer max amount of money you can make is a, is a good incentive to drive well, but you know it also it makes it a little bit scarier because there's a lot more opportunity to fuck up. Yeah, it's just a good old time all around. Can keep my one train of thought for longer instead of flipping back and forth like I'm some sort of flip a floppy. I, what, what do people consider? Do people like flip-flops anymore? I, I mean, they seem okay. You know, there's certainly nothing for a formal event, of course, but you know, like... I don't know. They don't seem that practical. When the hell are you gonna wear them? Take them to the beach? Sure, absolutely. What a great time to bring them. You don't want to get sands in your shoes, or your sandals necessarily, so you bring some flip-flops, and it's like, hey, there we go. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't casually wear them to fucking school or something, and it, that seems like a pain. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, my shoe fashion sense is absolutely minimal. I have no idea what the hell a good shoe is. I, 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 I wish I could figure it out, but I will never have that privilege of knowing what the hell a good shoe looks like. Uh, anyway, we're coming up to Stockton here, unfortunately. As, as much as I hate Stockton, it's still some, a formality that we have to go through. It is a formality until you decide to go full reckless mode like we are here. Wild card incoming. We are going to drive off the road. Run this red light because I don't give a fuck anymore. Will these encounters running a red light if I'm off the side of the road? Oh my god, we figured out the trick. Just don't follow the rules of the road. I love it. It's like the game doesn't punish you for being a fucking maniac. I love it. So good. Besides all the cars and damage you can hit, that's the only thing keeping me on the road normally. But how the hell do we do we fuck this one up? I don't know. Left turns aren't easy. Especially when there's a wall on one side of it. But it's not like there's any other traffic. Ow. Uh, but whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Oh, uh, we took 1% damage on the trailer. So no excellent score. But you know what? That's fine. We're just going to get this shit done. It's all about that efficiency, that speed. We got to get that time bonus. We gotta get it done in under 30 seconds. That's never gonna happen in my life. That'd be... <laughs> Although, they, you do see those that pop up occasionally, is that... You know, because I'm searching by, like, price per mile, uh... Oh, God, no. Come on, we just gotta get up this ramp somehow. Alright, that was a close call. But, uh, yeah. You see those sometimes, because we're sorting by price per mile, is that... Uh, when, when you get a job that's in the same town as its starting point, the delivery... And it's just like, yeah, we could do those. It'd take about two minutes. It'd pay me like 600 bucks, but what the hell's the point? I guess that, that price per mile is just so value. Can't pass it up. I can pass it up. I've, I've passed it up before, so pass that shit around. Um, no, let's, let's just keep going here. 
we're out of Stockton, we're back on the highway. Only thing we have left to deal with here is that stupid Sacramento construction that we're going to be coming up on that slows down the, uh, yeah, right here. Slow down the speed limit temporarily for some bullshit reason. We'll never go away. And we'll continue on our way here. Uh, hello, construction. Long time no see. Haven't been up this way in a little while. I seem to end up uh, having looped around multiple times where I would go through Nevada, up to the north, back to Reading, back south, back to the, uh, Las Vegas, and it's like... I don't know how I managed to go in all those loops. Loop-de-loop -loop, like some fruit loops or some shit. I don't know. You can toss my salad like his name, Romaine. Um, I don't know how, what uh, what those mean. One of them is a lyric from Nicki Minaj's Anaconda, and one of them is something I just made made up myself. Did you see... Could you could you pick out the difference? Because one actually made no sense, and the other one actually made less sense. So, you figure out which is which and, and let me know. Uh, <laughs> hello, writing. Nice to meet you. No, we're not we're not to writing. We still got a ways to go, of course. Ah, two hundred and ninety miles. Just just fun, 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 fun. Do you want to talk about fun? I know what fun is. American Truck Simulator. Woo! Still getting hyped for that Arizona DLC. Woo! One day. Just like they keep promising me that one day we can we can all be happy. It's just never gonna happen. Oh, oh how the anticipation drives me crazy. Because, you know, they, they mentioned that they were going to do it since fucking release. It's been three months and they're like, nah, who needs a release date? Not me. Uh, you know, but, uh, so how's, how's your week going? I hope it's going well. Hope, hope everyone's doing great. Hope it's just another week in the life, you know, uh, as someone who's, I like routine, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's nice to have some sort of schedule to be able to something to have stick with. You know, of, of course, uh, like, spontaneity is, is sort of the spice of life, and, you know, as long as you throw in uh, whatever you do to enjoy yourself. But, you know, sometimes you need that, that stable ground, that stable base. You don't want to be full crazy. And it just just ain't the way. Uh, so, yeah. I hope, hope everything's going well for, for you, and I hope uh, it'll continue to go well for you as we come into the weekend here. The weekend of April something something. 2016. 2016, brap. Um... Trap. You're a trap. It's a tarp. Da -da -da -da. Listen to the fucking on call music. On hold. Whatever. Get me out of here. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, stay on the road. Stay on the road. Speeding defense. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yay. Income from driver Natalia P. Thank you for the cash money in the bank for hizzy for shizzy. In my nizzy. Kidda wee wheezy, um, Mizzy? Is as busy, busy. <laughs> I'm quite busy. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Rhyme things that started with zzz. <laughs> uh, you know, in in either sense, it is either bees or that noise that Chris Tucker makes in the uh, in the Fifth Element. If if you've ever seen the Fifth Element, you you know what I'm talking about. Chris Tucker is a funny man in that movie. Chris Tucker had a great acting career. He, uh, I remember reading on his Wikipedia that he was like the highest paid actor at one point during his career. You know, around that late 90s, early 2000s, with all those big hits like Rush Hour and then some other good movies. And Congratulations to him, of course. I really hope I don't have to sneeze again, but I can. it's tickling. It's tickling my nose, my nasals. Oh, here it comes. Oh, eventually. We'll get there. One day. <coughs> <coughs> all right good enough keep going i apologize for all the sneezing i just sometimes you can't help it sometimes you gotta let it come out there's there's no way to stop a sneeze as far as i know i've i've heard all those tips and tricks you know like oh just say sneeze before you sneeze like no man just let it come out there's no reason to pain yourself with with bodily functions you just gotta let it come out although i feel really awkward when you know I've I got a cough in class or something and it's just like I could try to cough like as quietly as possible but then that cough's not strong enough to make the cough go away in the long run and I'm, I'm pretty sure I've accidentally said Kafka a few times you know about the the metamorphosis of transforming into a cockroach um anyway 
It's just that when when I'm coughing, it's you know, sometimes you got to get a deep cough. You got to get that shit up a little bit out of your lungs. You know, it can get get in the way, uh, especially if you swallow the wrong way or something. You know, you just gotta you just gotta let it all out. There's there's no avoiding things like that. You just gotta let it go. Just let it go. It's okay. It's Zaijobu. So yeah. But you know, then then I'm trying to like not sneeze, and like the teacher's talking, I'm like, eh, eh. it sounds like I'm fucking dying whale, and then like I, it's just a nightmare. It never works out. Oh well, too bad, so sad. Don't you wish I was a codfish? I don't know what that was. Don't talk to me. All right, looks like we're gonna be taking some sort of fucking roundabout for some reason. I don't remember this part of the deal. Huh. So, straight goes nowhere, and right goes to Redding, and left goes up to Hornbrook. I, I, I thought it would be straight goes up to Hornbrook. Turns out that we just decided to take, like, a 90-degree angle for no reason, and just roll with the punches. Oh, we really need to merge behind this truck, don't we? Oh, he's so slow. Woo! All right, he's, he's going through the invisible wall. Good luck, fellow trucker. I'll, I'll see you in uh, in the other side where it's not possible for me to cross, man. Doing fucking these fucking figure eight roundabout clover leaf highway transmission transitions is is a bit tough. It's it's not hard or it's it is hard to be able to make that sharp a turn. You want to be going fast enough so you can get back on the highway. You don't want to be going too slow. You just you don't want to roll over. It's it's a crazy disaster that never seems to work out for me in the long run. I've hit plenty of fucking guardrails on that uh, that edge. You know, there's a lot of fucking like cloverleaf exchanges like that that are annoying. You know, the ones on the highway aren't that bad. You can usually deal with it okay. Everybody merges fairly effectively. Then there's the ones you never expect. There's the ones that for some reason like cloverleaf double back on themselves, do like a fucking 270 degree fucking turn. But you know, because it's getting off onto a side street, it's incredibly sharp. There's some, there's one that I know that, that goes from a 65 mile an hour highway to a turn you have to take at like 35 or less. It's, it's absolute madness and there's almost no warning. It, it does put a sign that's like, you should probably slow the fuck down and I'm like, eh. And then I realize like, oh shit, I gotta slow down more or maybe I'm going a little too slow. There's just no making that turn smoothly. It's an absolute disaster. You're just not prepared to go from that fast to that slow, you know. Also, when when I'm on a on a highway that's maybe uh, you know outside of the Twin Cities and I'm coming back into the Twin Cities and you know the speed limit goes down, I just like my God, 55 feels real slow or 65 somewhere in there, and then you're coming from like a 70 mile an hour fucking speed limit and you're like, wow, this is different. <laughs> this is this just feels slow and everybody else is like, oh, I'm on the highway now, I'm going so fast, and I'm like, nah, you're so slow, get real. Yo, and then and then there's a NASCAR driver behind me who's like, "Why is everyone going not 300?" And I'm like, "Because I keep it 100." I don't know what that was. Anyway, we're almost up to Hornbrook. I realize here that because we've only been up here once before and not back down, we have not explored some of this major highway area that we we need to for the achievement, of course. So maybe we do want to try to find a job on the way back. Unfortunately, that's less led up left up to the uh, discretion of the game if it wants to give me something useful. Otherwise it could just, you know, like, screw me in the butt and make me teleport back to my garage in LA. But at least from there we may be able to find a job that'll take us the distance. And you know, sometimes you just want to get that distance. But we're almost up here. I, b I believe the only thing up here is like a fucking gas station. I don't even think there's a way to pick up loot. There might be like one place, but that's it. It's a tiny ass fucking city here. At least in the game. In real life, I don't know. It could be. It could be a nice, uh, you know, prosperous little little town. I don't know. Ooh, it's got three fucking sleeping inns. So at least there's that. <laughs> there is. There appears to be one bitumen place and the gas station rest area. So we're taking it to the gas station, of course. That's that's the one place we took it before as well. I remember that day like it was yesterday. However many episodes ago that was, like 50? I don't remember. In the slightest, man. When it, there, there's, in my mind, no difference between like the 15th episode and the 70th. In, I have no idea what the difference is. Maybe it's just so much more interesting. Maybe it's less interesting. Uh. Either way. Oh, nope. 
Nope, the the delivery points over here. Over here. Over here. You we don't we don't want to deal with that parking, man. Satisfactory. That's okay. We still made 11, almost 12 grand. We got a fair bit of XP and we're up in Hornbrook in a in a place we haven't been in a long time. So, thank you for watching this episode of American Truck Simulator. At least we got to see some shit and I will see you next time.